This SSD is in for data recovery because it is not working. The customer first took it to a computer shop because the laptop would not boot up. The computer shop has removed this SSD because it was not detecting in the laptop and the computer shop could not get this SSD to detect at all so they've brought it into Zero Alpha for data recovery. It's a SanDisk. X600 SATA M.2 2280 128GB SSD it was manufactured on the 8th of January 2018 It's lasted about 6-7 years You can see that it was removed from a HP laptop because it has a HP part number 932310-001 And the full model number is SD9SN8W Dash 128G Dash 1006 This SanDisk X600 SSD is powered by a Marvel controller and the model number is 88SS1074 Dash BSW2 This is very common technology used by SanDisk and Western Digital got Cache memory here and we've got four NAND memory chips made by SanDisk First I'm going to test the power management chip This is a very common one on the SanDisk and WDs This one is the 9040VM339 First I'm going to test the capacitors because they're easier to get to for the 3.3 volts So you got 3.3 volts here, this one here, 3.3 volts, up here, 3.3 volts, 3.3, and 3.3 volts. These two here should be our 2.5 volts, yes, and 2.5. Our 1.8 volts should be here, and up here. Up this corner, we have our 1.35 volts, and we here, this is 1 volt, or 1.1 and our 1 volt, 1.1 volt here. So we're going to check the power for these memory chips. They go 2.5 volts, 1.8 volt, back to 2.5, and up the top here, 1.8. Using our professional equipment, we can get this SSD to read, but it does have issues with the memory. However, we've got all the data back. If you need data recovery from a SanDisk SSD that's not working, visit zeroalpha.com.au. You can mail in from any location or drop off. We will get your data back at the lowest price.